So we'll get into the river, we'll come over the brushes, see the green patch. Okay. You can't miss it. Splat. Cool. Splat. Where to? We are going to the reservoirs, Turner Ranch, Dead Cow, all that kind of fun stuff. We might even see Justin Tisdale's property that he just bought. Awesome. Chase some wild horses, you know. A few months ago, I got a private message from Kevin Quinn telling me I should travel out west and experience off airport flying and get some real interesting aviation content. So here it is, the Stoll Experience. that I was coming in and 2-0 would have been easy, you know, just coming in and I asked him and he said, but I'll be fingers. on fingers. Awesome. There was actually a little bit of air, like at, you know, 8,000 already. Oh. Okay. And I say that because at about 400 feet, there's kind of a, a, a divot. Okay. And so you'll have plenty of speed to stop and you'll be stopped here. You won't go long, but if you do, roll long left. And so kind of plenty. touch down to the side of the tree. Yeah, it's, you'll it's touch down point. 50 feet left of the tree. It's the big bright patch of grass. You can't miss it. Okay. There's a whole bunch of bushes right here, tall bushes, and then the river comes this way. I'll, f I'll follow. So we'll get into the river. We'll come over the brushes, see the green patch. Okay. You can't miss it. Trent, I'm on your left. I'm really on your right. These guys all know they fly with me enough that I'm like left side, and they know I'm on their right. Clear. Yeah, I just got dusted by so Kevin. That's how you do it. And mine on the end like from four foot. I was just giving him the It's kind of a dust bowl here. Uh, today. Guess you can't help it. Check out this terrain back here, huh? What a beautiful morning. This is an awesome place to fly. It really is. Before we get too deep into this, let me thank our sponsors that make all of this possible. Great companies like Airworks, Acme Aero, AirTech Coatings, Kit Plane Parts, Stoll Creek Aviation, DeLand Sport Aviation Showcase, Edge Performance. So take a moment after this video to say hello to all of them and remember to check out the affiliate links in the description below. And remember, just build it. Let's get back to it.
awesome. We just landed on a beach. At this lake. You plant these things anywhere. We got a couple more coming in. I'm gonna try to capture that real quick. If it looks like we were up and down a lot, it's because we were. Each time we landed, I jumped out, grabbed the camera, got a few shots, and then Brian, it's time to go. I think Kevin was just really excited to share his passion of the back country with someone else who was just as passionate about aviation as he. I got to see and experience things honestly that I have never seen or done before, or even thought possible. So we are on top of a rocky mountain here overlooking the high sierra, uh, the de dead cow. Dead cow it is. Dead cow where the high sierra flying is. And I tell you, it's, it's like we just landed on, a, on the moon or another planet. It is absolutely dead quiet. You can't, it's just quiet. It's just so quiet. And right now there's not even a breeze, there's nothing. It's still air. It's, not, it's, it's so quiet, it's deafening. Can I say that? Yes, you can. <laughs> it's so quiet, it's deafening. And the capabilities of, of flying are apparently just endless. Well, let's keep moving. Where are we going to go to next? You know, typically when a guy tells you he's going to take you to a pretty cool watering hole, you think if it's a, a bar or a restaurant. No, we're out here in the middle of nowhere at a watering hole where animals drink. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. You got a bottle of water. <laughs> yeah, I've got water. No man's land. Check this out. And I don't just fly with anybody. 
which means I have a lot of confidence in the abilities that Kevin has flying. Very verbal during his flying and tells you what he's doing, what he's about to do, or what he's about not to do. So that helps me, the co-pilot, just a little bit in being prepared for what's ahead. Big thank you goes out to Kevin Quinn for the invitation to come out west and do this type of flying. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. I feel like I feel like I won the lottery, and I did. I got to spend two days with Kevin Quinn flying the backcountry. Remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching this episode, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.